2024 J Flight 294 QBS has a redesigned bunk room. Let's check it out. You got a door right there. First of all, I've got a nice lounge area or a bed right here. It easily converts into a queen bed down here. Finally, I've got bunk beds up here. I've got one there and one here too. Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vought RV. I'm so excited because we've got 2024 Jayco's to show off now. And right behind me, I've got a brand new floor plan update, we'll say. This is a 294 QBS J Flight. Had this around last year, but there's an update on the inside in the bunk area that I can't wait to show you. This guy's about 35 and a half feet long. 6,700 pounds plus on dry weight. So you're about 8,250 fully loaded. But for a family unit to sleep everybody comfortably, lots of elbow room, big kitchen, this has got a lot going for it. As the sign implies, new bunk room design for 2024. I'm gonna do a quick lap around the outside and then we'll go on the inside and show this thing off for you. Plenty of awning room up here. We've got our LED light strip, outdoor speakers, so we can enjoy what I call the fun side of the RV. I'm gonna point out some 2024 updates as we go around new things in 2024, and this is one of them. You've got your blackout wheels right here on your rims, really nice. You got Goodyear tires, six-year American-made tires, so you don't have to worry about going out and buying new tires, even though you bought a brand new unit. You got good tires right from the start. I'm gonna start right here. This is different. You got a flap that hides your potable water fill. This is a gravity water fill. Put a hose in there or chug some water in. I'll only put a couple gallons in there for the trip. Otherwise you're hauling around weight that you wouldn't need to. Here's our cable outlet. So once we hook up to cable on the other side, I can watch TV, do my tailgating over here, pop a TV right here on this key block mount. Really nice. Going around to the front side here, pass through storage, which is really tidied up for 2024. They've trimmed this off nicely. Notice how clean this is. Nice pass through storage for those easy up canopies, the fishing poles, all the long items go all the way through here. Also the rock solid stabilizers. I am a huge fan of these because they deploy quickly and they're super, super solid. They are deployed as you see right here. Quick tip, you wanna make sure that there's a little daylight through here. So if I can put my finger in there, they're deployed correctly. If this red is up here into this area, not so much. We did a separate video and Matt from Jayco did a separate video on how to deploy these correctly. But suffice it to say, once they're down, this thing is not rocking. Really, really nice quality uh, enhancement, you might say. Electric tongue jack and it's lighted, so that makes leveling front to back super easy. Your double 20s on your propane and your battery tray behind it. Now carrying over from 2023, you have a fiberglass front cap instead of the corrugated aluminum. It's a fiberglass front cap. Looks a little more aerodynamic and streamlined. Still have your diamond plating in front, which is nice to protect from rock chips and so on. Opposite side of our pass-through storage here again, really, really handy to have that. Now we are in a 294 QBS, so queen bed, queen bunk, I don't know, slide, S slide. So here's our slide and I can't wait to show you this, this to you. The other thing that Jayco's done in 2024 is given us bigger windows. So many, many models have bigger windows to enjoy the outside, whether it's on the patio side or on the slide side in this case. You got suburban tankless on-demand water heaters across the board now with Jayco, even on the J flights. So these were reserved for white hawks and, and feathers to a large extent in the past, plus fifth wheels. And now you can enjoy these also on a J flight. So on-demand, long showers. You don't have to take those military showers, especially if you have kids. They go through the shower and you don't have to wait for that uh, water heater to recover. Really nice and handy. I like these smart plugs. See the green light up here? That tells me if I've got good power up to this point, if that green light is on. So if you ever have a issue and you need to troubleshoot, 
First thing you want to do, come out and see if I've got green light there. That means I've got power up to that point. Outdoor shower, hot and cold. Wash those sandy feet off at the beach before you drag it into the coach. Our main city water connection, always use a water pressure regulator right here. And um, right here's your black tank flush. Your furnace vent is right below here. Now, check this out. I've got a door that goes into the bunk area as well as, of course, our main door. This isn't really an entry door, but it's really handy for loading stuff at the campsite. So I've got camping gear, I've got some canopies, I got my hammock, the dog toys or whatever, bicycles even, I can stow them up in here and have really, really convenient access for storage. Now these windows are also thin shade prepped all the way around. This has got a thin shade in it already, so you have total privacy blackout and it's nicely framed in this door this is neat can't wait to show you the update on the design of the bunk room in there full-size mounted spare in the back and we're camera prepped all the way around so you can put a camera for backing up up there if you want to put a bike rack back here a luggage rack or so on now it's popular to be camping on the fun side of the unit and Jayco gives you an LP quick connect right here, low pressure quick connect. So I can um, uh, be doing some cooking with my griddle or grill over here on this side. Nice little storage compartment right here which is actually under one of the bunk areas. So this, you can see, it's kind of hard to see. It's pretty dark in here, but there's a lot of storage under there again. You're gonna be utilizing the storage on this side of the unit much more simply by virtue of the fact of where it's located. Jayco continues these solid steps, these Lippert solid steps. So, so great. If somebody's an early riser in the family, getting going in and out of the coach, you're not transferring motion because there's a solid contact point to the ground. Each one of these legs is easily adjusted up and down. And then when it's time to take off, you simply pop this up here and stow it for travel. Pop this grab bar in as well. Again, each one of these is easily adjustable. It's good stuff out here, but better stuff on the inside. Come on, let's have a look. 294 QBS inside. This is so nice. This feels like a high-end condominium. It truly does not just in the uh, appointments and the decorative appointments on this, but the design. So if you're getting this, you probably have a family, a couple couples maybe, we can sleep a ton of folks in here. Let me do some quick math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight plus in this comfortably dedicated sleeping spaces. But check out this galley slash living room area. This slide contains a dinette and as well as a sofa right here. So once this is out, it really transforms this, this part of the coach. It feels like home. Again, as I go through, I'm gonna point out some 2024 differences. Notice the countertop, really high-end looking. That's squared off now. It looks like a solid piece of marble. Even though it's not, it's a molded material. On the J-Flights, you finally get a cutting board insert. Yay, Jayco! We could say these before, but now they're included so that expands your prep space, hits a cutting board insert uh, right here. You can put a strainer in here as well, but your high rise faucet, I like these squared off uh, countertops, really nice. Now we're on black all the way across on your range hood and your cooktop and oven. So you still have a traditional oven here in this J flight with the backlit controls. It's a two burner cooktop. Pop this back, becomes your backsplash. Now, Jayco has combined what they called modern farmhouse into one decorative scheme. It's still farmhouse, and some of the units are calling it classic farmhouse, and some of the units are calling it vintage farmhouse. It's farmhouse. It's still the same sort of off-white color that everyone has fallen in love with. It's by far the most popular decor that Jayco's had. Still have your solid wood drawer fronts, solid wood door fronts, and full extension drawer glides everywhere. Very nice. 
Have some more storage under the sink here. Jayco, like every other manufacturer, is moving toward 12 volt refrigerators. So uh, we've got an eight cubic foot 12 volt fridge. I love them because they work like a residential refrigerator. They cool a lot quicker. They recover a lot quicker and they just behave like a residential refrigerator and they're bigger. So if you put the same size of a gas absorption fridge, you're going to be a couple cubic foot shorter because it wouldn't be as deep. All right, so very nice uh, freezer compartment up on top. Of course, refrigerator below, 12 volt, eight cubic foot. Like it a lot. Storage underneath there as well. Now, um, we were looking at it just a minute ago, but I'm just going a little bit too fast. The backsplash material is different too. It looks like tile, but it's not. It's a smooth material, easy to wipe, easy to clean. I don't know where Jayco finds these, but the first time I saw their subway tile, I could swear it was actual tile. And that looks like actual tile too, too but it's actually smooth. A little bit different uh, flooring material, nice luxury residential grade linoleum flooring. Um, it's, it's comfortable to the touch. And I like that it's got a little splash of brown. Perfect and very forgiving for a campsite. Doesn't show dirt, but it looks really classy and modern. Before I leave this area, I'll just go ahead and talk about this dinette. Um, this does drop down. Uh, these posts get removed and the tabletop drops right in here and then this becomes a bed base so you can easily sleep another person in here. Easy to get in here and scooch around. We can feed certainly four to six people in here. What are we eating? Looks like we're eating stale bread and fake lemons. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jayco, for uh, staging this for us. Over here, I've got a comfortable seating area with cup holders in the middle. I can fold this out of the way, and now it's a sofa. If I left up on it, it's another bed. How easy is that? So if I've got a relatively short human, I'm thinking maybe about 5'8 or so, teenager, children could certainly sleep here and it's super easy to convert like that. And now we're back to a sofa. Storage on underneath each one of these areas as well. I like to put like a clear plastic tub or a wicker basket pull it out that way you can access things in there a little bit easier if you have larger things you can uh, lift up this whole seat base and access that area under there uh, easier hey let's go back and check out this bunk area how about this this is like the swiss army knives of bunk areas right so this is a model that jayco had last year but they've updated the way this uh transforms you might say so the way it is right now i've got a comfortable lounging area sofa right here maybe i can put a tv up there so the kids can be watching tv it can be a game area or whatever and it can be set up just like it is right here these pop up out of the way so it opens up this space really nicely in here notice there's a table stowed right under here and I have legs right here, so each of these pop in here. I can put that table right here, so two or three kids can be back here eating or playing games or whatever, and there's a place to stow that tabletop right there, which is very handy. Obviously, we have more storage right here, right inside the door, so really handy. And again, I've got my privacy, complete privacy blackout shade there on your thin shade. When it's time to turn this into a bed sleeping arrangement, what you're going to do is just release this pin up here and drop this bunk down like so. Come over and do the same thing here. How about that? Now I have a bunk up here. I have a bunk up there. Someone can sleep downstairs, if you will, just the way it is right there. Now, let's say we want to sleep a couple, like parents. You're bringing another couple with you and they've got a couple kids, and this is gonna be their room. All right, fair enough. Pop this up out of the way. Easier to show you. It's pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is, you'll notice that this is hinged right here. 
So we're going to take this portion and just flip it down. Look, now I have a bed base. Bring our cushions and spread them out here. And look at that. Now I've got a nice queen size bed for mom and dad to sleep in. Perfectly nice. Drop the bunks down. Kids can sleep up there. Everybody's got a comfortable place to sleep. And you can use one of the bunks, two of the bunks, three of the bunks the way it was originally, or fourth with this full big bed down here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like it. Of course, we have privacy right here too. I can close this to block this off. So we have a separate room for your guests that are joining you here. Storage right here in the hallway. I've got a closet with deep storage shelves up here. Another compartment right here as well. Again, this is the farmhouse decor. And let's check out the bathroom. All right, a ginormous shower. How about this? I'm talking big, big shower. One of the biggest showers you're going to find in an RV until you've got to get up into a high-end diesel pusher. This is really, really great. So I'm six feet tall, average build. Look at this, this is great. One piece shower surround. Another thing that Jayco does that you wouldn't notice by just looking is that they reinforce their shower base with three quarter inch plywood. So as you're stepping up and in, in and out of the shower, you're not putting undue stress on the plumbing fixtures down here because it is reinforced. You might be surprised how few RV manufacturers actually reinforce their shower bases like Jayco does. I have a traditional shower curtain, which I'm perfectly okay with. You know, a lot of people will look at, well, I wish it had a glass shower door. You know, then you're squeegeeing it to keep it clean. Um, I like, these will come off of here. You can throw these in the laundry bring them back in and it's clean. Uh, I appreciate the simplicity of a regular shower curtain. Have a, have a medicine cabinet. So in some J flights in the past, there was no medicine cabinet. Some there was. You get a medicine cabinet in all the J flights now. So yay, thank you, Jayco. I like that. There is a little bit of storage under, actually quite a bit of storage under here. Put a trash can or something in there. Now on this price point, we have a plastic foot flush toilet so there's plenty of room plenty of leg room in here and again i appreciate the medicine cabinet because we didn't always have one in the past you have gfi protected outlet right here close to the wet location here's something to keep in mind if you have an electrical issue and it's only affecting some of your outlets check your gfi plugs because if this pops anything downstream from this so to speak won't work it depends on how your, how your RV is uh, uh, wired, but, and this was really true with most any RV, if you have some outlets that don't work or some things that don't work, check your GFIs because anything downstream won't work if it's popped. All right, I'm liking it a lot. I like the revisions. I like the enhancements. Have a TV up here. Our Insignia brand TV, which does pull out and rotate around depending on your pr preferred viewing angle. I've got some storage under here. Kind of wishing for a shelf in there, but um, I'd probably build one. I'd probably put a shelf in there, but I'm, I'll take every little bit of storage area I can get in an RV. You got a Bluetooth stereo here, so you can sync your phone to this and cast music through the stereo pump music through those speakers out on the patio or through these speakers in the ceiling and listen to the music that you want to listen to, not just what they might be broadcasting over the radio. Smoked glass inserts on our storage up here. And you've got more storage right above this. Now this is real handy. Um, having owned quite a few RVs myself, I think about the simple things. I'm coming in from outside I'm gonna put my jacket on, put my shoes on. This is a great place to sit down and do that. I can throw the flip flops, throw the shoes or the umbrellas under there. I got a place to put my shoes on here. Also right inside the door is this little cabinet, another handy place to throw shoes or flip flops or the dog leash or the dog treats or whatever and keep this entry exit way clear but that's going to get a whole lot of use um, 
Kind of wish there was some hat hooks up here, but you could easily put them on there. That's pretty solid, so you could do that if you wanted to. Now moving up into the bedroom area. Again, this is a change in 2024. Notice this is all the modern farmhouse lighter color everywhere. In years past, this was darker wood, darker wood, darker wood down below. Uh, which look nice, contrasting with the wallboard, which is now updated a little bit. Look, but look how bright it is. It's very bright, has a country feel to it. There is a little bit of a lip here, which I like. So what I would do, I'd put wicker baskets. I'd buy three wicker baskets up here, pull them down for extra linens, pillows, or what have you up there. Plus it would look really nice too. Underneath this bed, we have storage. Look how easy that is to lift up because of these gas, gas strut assists. So lift that up. I have nice storage under here. You can even cut this open if you wanted to do a mod. Some people like to do that and put a basket in there to pull out for socks or a shoe drawer or something like that. Any way you slice it, you have nice storage under there. I always tell people to shop around. You should shop around and when you do, lift up the mattress and see what you see. In Jayco's case, you're going to see plywood under the bed base, not particle board or OSB. Plywood's more expensive. It's also a lot stronger, and that's why Jayco uses it. They're a plywood-based builder. You can't see it, but we're standing on plywood, and you're, there's also plywood up, up in the roof structure. So every Jayco, the fifth wheels, the bumper pulls, all have a truss roof system. They call it a magnum truss roof system. If you could look at it with x-ray vision, it would look like the trusses on your house. It's 4,500 pound weight rating, so you can walk on that roof. So heaven forbid, tree limb falls down on this while you're in it. It might be a call to State Farm, but not 911. There's been a lot of photos posted online that look terrible with a tree that came down on a Jayco but the whole box remained intact. It's because, large part because of the way the roof system is built. I've got hanging uh, clothes rod on that this side, and then over on this side, I've got shelves. So um, you do have some place to hang some clothes and, and fold, put some folded clothes up there. I've got solar right here. So this, the Overlander One is now standard on the J-Flight. So I've got 200 watts of solar up on top and our 30 amp charge controller right here. This is expandable up to a couple more solar panels up on top if you wanted to go crazy with solar, but you got solar right off the bat to begin with. Now, many, many people say, well, will the, will the RV run everything from solar? No, it won't. What this will do, think of this as a, a really nice trickle charger for your batteries. What do the batteries do? They keep the lights on, they keep all your 12 volt systems running. So your furnace fan blower, the lights, ceiling fans and vents, and in this case, the 12 volt refrigerator. So all of those systems are gonna work. It's not gonna power the air conditioner. For that, you'll need shore power. Um, but if you wanted to stay off grid more and beef up your solar capacity so that you could stay off grid longer without needing another source of power, you might look at expanding your uh, solar array. More on that on another video. If you want to add television, right here's the place to do it. I don't know what Jayco did, but this is a lot more solid than it used to be. This is a solid piece right here, so I'm guessing it's half three quarter inch plywood behind here, because this is solid to accommodate a TV mounting bracket. And then you have your power and your coax cable up here as well. So again, if you're at a campground that has cable and many of them do now and you hook it up outside now you're going to have cable here in the living room on the patio anywhere you need cable you're going to have it on the inside too of course i have a sliding door right here too and i often talk about this this should be on your checklist your pre-trip checklist which is to close this door and snap it shut <laughs> So um, I, I laughingly, now laughingly, say about all the dumb bonehead things I've done in my RV. I've pulled out of a campsite with my awning out, done it. I have put a motorized vehicle in gear with my jacks down back when you could do it, done it. 
I've done a lot of silly things that I wouldn't have done had I had a checklist, which I have now. One of the things on my checklist is secure doors and shower doors if you have glass shower doors so this thing isn't slamming open and closed going down the road, breaking something and knocking it loose. So anyway, get yourself a checklist. We even have one that we'll give you and you can customize it to suit your needs. So I have USB charging ports here. You'll find that there's a lot more USB ports everywhere now with Jayco units. So I've got 110 up here and our USB and you can see that it's receiving power right there as well. Right inside the door, I've got our slide room switch. It's the regular good old fashioned toggle switch and our awning in and out switch right here. Light switches up here, which for some reason Jayco uh, refuses to label, but it's easy to remember. One's the lights on the inside and the other one's the awning switch, so easy enough, but that's what those two toggle switches are. And then this is what you're going to check your tank levels um, here, as well as turn your water pump on and off right there. All right, hey, we're in the 294 QBS. This is a beautiful coach. It was around last year but there's been some enhancements in that bunk room that I'm really digging. So especially if you've got a family, th this one lends itself to the two couples that want to go camp together and one or both of them have kids because there's plenty of ways to situate the, the little ones and mom and dad can still get a good night's uh, rest. So, hey, I appreciate you joining me. If you have questions about this unit, specifically J Flights in general or Jayco's in general, drop them in the comments below. While you're down there, go ahead and click like and subscribe if you will. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. Stay tuned for more first look at 2024 Jayco's. My name's Mike, I'll see you next time.